Hello, I am back again with another video. Um, so most of you have been commenting that you want my videos to be shorter, so I will try and make this one shorter. Um, this video I will be talking about, you know, my first year in um, secondary slash high school. Um, my ups, my downs. Um, okay. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, to be notified of new videos that I put up. Um, and yeah, feel free to comment. Okay, um, so the backstory is, um, I went to second school, um, 40 minutes away from where I live. Um, the reason for this was my brother's foster, well, foster now, like, brothers, um, they went there, they don't have FASD, but they went to the school and they had nothing but amazing things to say about it. Um, it was a non-uniform school as well, and that's what kind of drew me to it. Um, and also I thought it would be a very fresh start. Um, I was bullied a lot in primary school, so I thought, okay, going to a school where, in, where nobody w knew who I was was going to be a great thing. And I thought, you know, there'd be a lot of other children or kids in the same boat. Um, so yeah, that's the backstory. Um, first day of school, um, my dad drove me and, you know, we arrived at school and there was, I'd say like 150, um, students, all first years, first day, just like me, um, outside the school, inside the school, in little groups, um, I uh, told my dad I did not want him walking me in because it wasn't cool, you know, this was my chance. And I remember, even to this day, I remember in my head I was saying, I was saying to myself, be cool Maggie, this is your chance. Um, yeah, so I got out of the car and, you know, my dad left after a bit of persuasion from me. And... You know, I made my way into school um, through the crowds and I kind of was kind of mingling for a while, um, just trying to take it all in, figuring out what I was meant to be doing. Um, because there's a lot of, all the kids seem to be hugging and chatting and in groups and I couldn't figure it out for a bit until I realised um, they'd all gone to primary school together. Um, and they had, you know, they were neighbours, they lived in the same estate. So they'd already decided who they were going to be friends with. And then there was me. Um, so that's kind of the backstory to my beginning of secondary school. Um, things I found difficult um, within my first year was um, the different classrooms for different um classes um i was so used to just being in the same classroom for all my lessons it was really uh difficult for me to um figure out what classroom i had to go to um at what times um what books i had to bring um the homework um and just the large crowds uh, that were there um in terms of you know getting to the classrooms um teachers very quickly figured out that i wasn't very good at it um i'd sometimes go to the wrong classroom thinking that i was in that class even though i wasn't meant to be there until after lunch um so i kind of had to talk to all my teachers or my mom did as well and so they all had a set of my timetable um, in their classroom, um, on their desk or somewhere. So that if I went to their classroom at the wrong time, they could tell me where I needed to be. Um, so that kind of helped me to be able to not get so stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, I've gone to the wrong classroom. What am I going to do now? And most of my teachers were understanding. Um, so that was very useful. Um, knowing what books to bring to each class and the different copies, I um, colour coordinated them. So if I had geography, 
um i put a colored um card um like this and so i'd have a strip of this on my copy book that went for geography and another one on my actual geography book so i knew what copy went with what book and it also helped me to bring them home i knew i needed to have two color green books um so i had a different color for every one of my books and that kind of helped me so that i wasn't writing my math in my english um copy book um the crowds i kind of began to figure out when it was going to be the most busiest times um lunch times just coming out of class um so i kind of stay back at two minutes or three minutes um after the bell would ring just to so that the worst bustle of all the crowds would have been gone by the time i then went to my class um and usually i was maybe one minute late and that was fine with my teachers um homework um was a difficult one um obviously i would try and get as much as i could done in school um sometimes i wouldn't get it all done and so i'd have to do it at home um so you know um that was difficult and even towards the end you know there's some days i just didn't get my homework done and i just had to explain to my teachers it had been a bad day um and you know was, i had had a diagnosis of fsd so it's not like i was just making everything up um so i think that might have helped me my first year anyway um <clears throat> sorry my voice is going um so the first year was fine during the towards the end of the year the 40 minutes drive in and out was beginning to um show an and kind of an effect on me i was becoming a bit more low in energy at home um i i was beginning to drop all my activities they were just becoming too much um and i suppose there was slightly more blow ups towards the end of the year just because i knew i had exams coming up as well um first year exams and I think every school just kind of tends to put some pressure on students when it's their first year of exams. Um, so that was also affecting me. Um, yeah, I mean, friendships. First year, I didn't really have a lot of friends, um, mainly because I was the only one from my school who went to that school. Um, everyone else knew each other. Um, so I found it very hard to break in um, to that kind of groups. Um, I wasn't very talkative anyway back then. Um, I preferred my own space. I would spend most of the time in the library, just reading, zoning out. Um, yeah, um, so useful things, um, doing the color coding for books. Um, that was very useful for me maybe talking to the teachers and getting a, letting them all have a copy of the timetable so that if your child does go into the wrong classroom thinking it was that class, um, the teacher can tell him where he needs to be so that he doesn't have to stress and begin to panic. Um, yeah, um, would I say it was a good thing that I decided to go to a school where I was the only one? I so suppose there's pros and cons, really. I mean, it was a fresh start. Um, it was a very fresh start. No one knew who I was. Um, there was no bullying. None of the bullies who had bullied me in primary school went there. Um, so those are all positives. Um, the negatives were the fact that I had to kind of break in. I had to kind of try and, you know, break into the groups of friends who'd already been friends for years um but yeah i think that's with any school really so would i say that is a negative i don't know um please comment um because this is a different way of me doing my videos so i'd love to have feedback to know if 
this was good, this is bad, if I didn't go into enough detail. I'm just conscious that people wanted shorter videos from me. Um, and so I'm trying to keep them under 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, um, please comment, um, subscribe to my videos, um, subscribe to my channel. And I have decided that every time I finish a live, I am going to leave you all with a quirky fact, um, a very bad joke. Um, so today's quirky fact is that stressed, S-T-R-E-S-S-E-D, -S -S -E spelt backwards, is dessert. And I like sugar, and I most certainly love desserts. And with that, I am going to leave you. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, hopefully I will do another video about my second year in school um, very soon. And please give me feedback as I'd like to know which um, way people prefer me to do my videos. Alright. Um,